do a uh, holiday inspired makeup look and I use a lot of like glitter liners and a lot of like glitter eyeshadow and I wanted something a little bit darker and a little bit more on like the dramatic side. I wanted like a real like sharp wing liner and lashes and just really glammed up for the holiday. I did keep the lip nude. You could also wear it with a red lip or a berry lip if you wanted to. And sorry about the lighting. I have been trying to use natural lighting, but I had to turn my light on because it's like almost 4 o'clock and the lighting is gone. So, um, sorry, my dog. Dog came to say hello. She's so cute. To subscribe to my channel and until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So to start out the look, we are going to take this Sherbert color from the Anastasia Self Made Palette and I am just going to place this right above the crease of my eye. I want to have a nice blend of colors so I'm going to use this as my transition shade and I'm just going to use it on my left and right eye so I will let you guys watch. Next I'm going to pick up this cool toned gray shade and I'm going to put it in the crease of my eye with a smaller, a little bit fluffier brush than the last one that I used. And I really like this for a little bit more depth and it also brings out the blue in my eyes. How are you? It's so typical of me to talk about myself. I'm sorry. I hope you will. Did you ever make it out of that time when nothing ever happened? What's the point of having ears if I don't ever listen? This could be my only chance to be on television, but they would love to give me wings. So now all I'm doing is blending the two colors together. I don't have any additional product on this brush. I was just going in and blending. And now I'm taking the shade Spirit Rock and I'm going to place this in the outer V of the eye. And I just wanted to give the look just a little bit more dimension and a little bit more darkness and smokiness on the outer corners of the eye. So for the star of this show, I'm going to take Pink Champagne, which is my favorite color out of the whole entire palette. I use it non-stop. I'm going to place it all over the lid, and it is the prettiest silver pink like shade that I've ever had. It's so creamy and easy to work with, but it sticks on the eye really well. You did not have to use a primer with any of these shadows and they are amazing. So I'm just placing that on from the inner corner to the outer corner of the eye and then I am just going to blend everything together. I don't have any additional product on this brush. I'm just going in and blending everything together so it looks a little bit more defined and the pink isn't as dark in the crease. I want more of the pink to be on the like the upper lid and the center of the eye. Now I'm going to take a black liner. This is my favorite for tight lighting right now. This is the Lancome Gel Liner. This is a newer liner and it is so amazing for tight lining. It doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't budge, it stays all day and I love this liner. It's my favorite. What I want, don't need to say it twice. Moving right along to the face, I did already do my foundation for this video. If you guys need an updated foundation routine, I will put one out. My skin was breaking out really bad this day, so I just kind of wanted to put foundation on and just have it on. I did go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I've been using this a lot lately and loving it again. I have like on and off days with this palette, but I use the first two shades, so the pinkier shade and then the more banana color, and I set under my eyes. And then I went in with the two lightest shades and 
I'm just going to contour and bronze up the face a little bit more. Um, I always hit the temples of my forehead under um, my jawline and my chin and then of course in the hollows of the cheeks. Did you ever make it out of the time when nothing ever What's the point of having ears if I don't ever listen? This could be my only chance to be on television. But they will love to give me wings, but hate to see me fly. They will go and help me quit before I even try. They will show me the whole ground to cover up the sky. Instead of telling me hello, they'd rather tell me bye. They'd rather tell me bye. Instead of telling me hello, they'd rather tell me bye. Now I'm just going to put on some blush and this is the Sephora collection blush. I love how creamy and pigmented their blushes are and if you're looking for a more inexpensive blush, I would definitely recommend checking that out. So I wanted to bring a little bit more glitter into the eyes so what I did, um, I put the glitter liner over the black wing liner that I did. And you'll see in these next couple clips, but all I did was I just overlined the black and then I also took on the outer part of the wing, on the bottom, I flicked it out as well. Hopefully that's making sense, but I will let you guys watch this. It really did just add that extra little glitter, so if you're somebody who really likes the glam look or you just really want an extra pop of glitter, this was perfect. You could have used all matte shades on the whole entire lid and the extra pop of glitter would have been perfect for you. This is definitely great for a holiday look or even like a New Year's Eve look. You could have left it like this, but like I said, I did add a little extra wing there. So you can see it a little bit. Hopefully, I can't remember if I put it on the camera or if it was, it was off. But now I'm just smoking out the lower lash line. So I took the shade Hot Chocolate and I also took a little bit of that Sherbert shade as well um, and mixed those two together and just smoked out my lower lash line. I'm popping on some false lashes here. These are my favorites. They're the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. I can't remember the numbers, but of course I'll leave them below for you guys. And I love these lashes. These are my favorite right now. So now that we are finished putting lashes on, I did mix the Lolita, the original, this is my original Lolita from Kat Von D, their Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, and I also put a Milani lip color, I believe it's called Teddy Bear, I mixed those two together and that is the look that I came up with. 